Hey there, welcome to the channel, I'm Phil, and as you can see, we are about to play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, one of my, well, actually my favorite game uh, of all time, but this is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Redo. So, uh, I don't really know much about it, I know they did a couple things as far as, like, palette swaps and stuff, but we'll see what happens. Help me! Help me, I'm a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle, my name's Zelda. The priest Aganim Is it Aganim? I don't know. Aganim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aganim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the Seven Sages seal. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Phil, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Well, looks like I'm about to leave the house. Oh, hey! He has got his hair change. He did his hair. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I wonder if there's any other kind of things that they did. I don't know. I was looking for a bunch of different like ROM hacks and stuff, and I found a few Zelda ones, uh, but I figured I'd try this one. I read the description. Like I said, they did like some palette swaps. I think they might have changed some translation things, but I don't think they really did anything with the actual game itself other than just change his hair color. Which, it's been a minute since I've played A Link to the Past. Like I said, it's my favorite Zelda game ever. Um, I think it's... Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't realize they changed the uncle's hair too. Ugh, that voice. Phil, is that you? I told you to wait at home. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Phil, you must rescue Princess Zelda. Our people are fated to do so. But do not fall victim to fate, Phil. I shall always remember our time together. I can't... Does, does he die? I, don't, I never understood if he died or not. I mean, I'll never forget our time together, but... Like, he died? I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me. So yeah, anyways, uh, I don't think they did anything like to the actual game itself. They just changed out like some of the color, uh, color swaps, and um, maybe some of the translation things. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't read the full thing because I kind of, I may have just skimmed it a little bit. But uh, <laughs> here we are. We are in a link to the past redo, and I hope you stick around. And hang out with me, you know? Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You win a, uh, a full year subscription of new videos um, daily. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember exactly where to go. I know possibly the left. I know we don't go straight yet. Oh, I forgot I have a sword, dude. <laughs> what? I legit forgot I had the sword. I um I played uh, Legend of Zelda Link no oh, is it uh, Link, uh, parallel parallel worlds and um, you walk around that for freaking ever without a sword or anything like that like you're actually in this castle roaming around and you have to beat people like you have to pick up pots and stuff you don't get the the sword until much later and it, it's hard dude. Um, Actually, I have a few videos of it uh, on my channel if you want to check those out. But I'll start playing it again. But dang, dude, it's like, it's hard. I mean, it's unnecessarily hard. I even say it like in those videos, like where basically the only reason it's hard is because you can't see half of the time. Like they, they, um, you know, they put you in a room with a bunch of spikes and stuff and like wandering enemies. And, and the, the room's dark, you know. It doesn't need to be dark, but they made it dark. And, uh, yeah, so basically what, what it boils down to is you can't see anything. And so it's a false sense of uh, difficulty. At least that's the way I look at it. Don't get me wrong, it was cool and it was nice to play uh, another, like, A Link to the Past game. Another, like, Super Nintendo Zelda. But, yeah, it was, it was unnecessarily hard. And I get it, people like that shit, but, I mean, I don't mind it. But I, I like my games to be fair. If that makes sense. And it wasn't very fair at all. But you know they say, life isn't fair. Now <laughs> ah, look at me dropping wisdom on you guys. You should be so lucky. Yeah, did I mention to hit that subscribe button? You know, while you're at it, just go hit the like button. It's right there anyways. 
Especially because we got a boomerang. Oh yeah. So I think on this we won't do crazy long videos. I might do like one dungeon at a time or maybe do an exploration day or something like that. That way we don't get like, um, you know, I guess video fatigue. We don't want to overdo it and just be like, oh man, we're going to hit that dislike button because this video is too freaking long. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We're going to keep it uh, hopefully below half an hour. But no, no, no promises. If I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I'm just going to keep playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, this game is so flippin' iconic, it's crazy. Like, the music, the sound effects. Phil, listen carefully. The priest is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The priest is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do I understand? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's get out of here before the priest notices. I know a secret path, but first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go! Um, and all of a sudden, Zelda sounds like a dude. So, you know. Take that with a grain of salt, or however you take that kind of news. Yeah, I forgot the names of the other um, the other Zelda games I downloaded. I also found like some Mario ones, uh, some Super Nintendo ROM hacks, and uh, oh, there was this one um, Mario Kart one that looked kind of cool. And I also got some Metroid. I don't know, man. I'm pretty excited, dude. I love the Super Nintendo. I think that's probably the greatest console of all time. I grew up in the Nintendo era uh, as far as, like, the, the Nintendo Entertainment System consoles. Um, you know, I had the, the old school NES. But, uh, you know, this one came out, and, hey, man, it just blew me away. It still does, dude. Like, I love this game. I love this. I love the games for it. I love the system, period. Like, if, if they could, like, just redo it and do it all over again. Oh, that'd be amazing. I don't think I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way. See, I told you I don't remember anything about this. Like, having a hard time here. Hey, but at least my hair is the right color, you know? That's always a good sign. You know, got our hair did. No, that's where we're going. Okay, we're going to go left down, and we should be there. You don't want this smoke, bruh. Come on, Zelda. There's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will, you know, I forgot what she said. Well, that's what she said. Ornamental shelf should open. Do you have light? It's pitch dark. Yeah, I got it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember when it comes to that switch if you're supposed to push the left or the right. See, that parallel worlds is like this, except for it's got like crazy hard enemies, spikes everywhere. And it just, it, it's frustrating. Like, there's, a <laughs> yeah, I don't know, okay, I know you probably won't, but if you go to the videos and you find the Parallel Worlds one that I was talking about, you'll see a thumbnail, and it's got a bunch of dead links on it, um, all face down. I died so many times that video, it was crazy. Like, I didn't even stand a chance, dude. It was it was that bad. And, like, even the freaking, like, just the regular bosses, they beefed them up a little bit as far as, like, their hit points and, like, speed. And, yeah. And then you got, like, spikes lining the freaking, uh, the walls. It, it sounds cool. Trust me, I get it. But it, it's, oh, it's frustrating. Yeah, I like my games to be challenging, but not frustrating, man. <laughs> After passing through these sewers, we will be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Okay, well, you don't have to say nothing, bro. We could just do it, you know? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel like I need to swap out controllers. Yeah, I'm not liking this one. 
feels weird. Of course, uh, I've been playing more with my uh, my six-year-old, and he's got, you know, sticky fingers. <laughs> Pushes the buttons like super hard, so <laughs> it's like, oh, dude, you're messing it up, boy. You're messing it up. And um, that's okay. You know what? We have fun. Been playing uh, like old school Mario games, like the well, yeah, he loves Super Mario World, so uh, he's got my heart for that. Uh, but he also loves like Super Mario Brothers Three, which obviously it's a good game. We were playing uh, Retro Super Mario Brothers Three the other day, which is basically another ROM hack and um, Super Mario Three, but you're using like Super Mario Brothers One sprites, and it looks interesting. It's it's kind of a cool little style design. I don't know. Maybe I should use this spin move a little more. All right, man, we're making some good money. Ah, you son of a gun. I don't know why I'm gonna get you. Like, I don't even need to get you, bro, but I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I don't even need a green rupee. Alright, uh, see, I don't remember. Sanctuary is just beyond the door. Put the switch over there. Which switch, though, bitch? Just tell me. Yeah, I think it's the left. It's not the left. That's okay. We have to pull the lever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yes, we'll pull the freaking lever. Pull the lever, crunk! Alright, here we go, old man. What's up, baby? Princess Zelda, you're safe. Is this your doing, Phil? It is. It is. You're welcome. Yes, it was Phil who helped me escape from the dungeon. But when I was captive, the priest said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the sages will open. Phil, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the priest's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven sages, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the priest before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the priest's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the priest is a legendary master sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven sages. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'll mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I'm certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the Elder. Do you understand? I do. Alright. So, let's open this bad boy. Let us go seek the Elder. How do you pronounce his name? Is, is it Sarhachachasala? I've never been able to pronounce his name, and I'm not ashamed of it, because it is a messed up name. I was going to say the F word, but we're not going to say the F word because this is a family friendly um, gaming video. Sarshala? Sure, 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 la. Sure, shala. Sure, puckle. Sure, puckle. Sorry, I was a little angry video game nerd there, uh, you know, S pickle. I'm not going to talk to you because I know you're going to try and get me arrested. There's Mario. It's me, Mario. Oh, I think I could probably buy a jar from you now. Can I? I think so. I would like to buy a bottle, please. I'll take it. Alright, let's see. Where is... Where's Bro? I forgot where Bro is. You're not Bro. I talk to this little fat kid. Hi, Phil, the elder? Are you talking about the grandpa? Okay, but I'll tell the people the bad people about this. He's hiding in the temple past the castle. I will mark the spot for you on the map. Here you are. Where is that? I always thought the map on here was pretty cool. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll do ourselves a favor. We'll get the first pendant. Um 
Oh, I know there's something back here we can get right off the bat. Might as well, right? Oh, it's another bottle. Alright, rock on. Man, I am unlocking so many memories right now, like... Where's the bug house? I want the bug net. I can at least catch... They're not over here. Let's go this way. That right there is... Oh, you know, I think I think Bug Boy was over here. Screw you, lady. I know you're gonna get me arrested too. Chickens, we don't need no chickens. Are you Bug Boy? You're Bug Boy. Yeah, you're Bug Boy. I can't go out because I'm sick. <laughs> People say I caught this cold from the evil air that's coming down from the mountain. <laughs> This is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. Thanks, bruh. Alright, so I guess, um. Uh, go down and to the right. And we'll go talk to Sharashala. And then uh, we'll go and beat us a. A temple. Dungeon. Dungeon. There we go. It is a dungeon. Yes, I know I've talked about this game many, many times in the past in all my videos. And uh, this one, man, like I said, is obviously one of my favorite games. I, um, I rented it I don't know how many times knowing that I didn't know how to get past it. <laughs> I, um... At least five, six times, and like I said, every time it was like, okay, well, we can get the first pendant, and that was pretty much it. And then I just roam around, and like I said, I, I would always hope for somebody to actually be pretty far in the game, so that way I can see some of the the stuff outside of, uh, you know, the areas we can get to right now. And um, yeah, see, I. I would play it like that too. Like I wouldn't even go find any bosses or castles or anything like that. I would just just roam the land if somebody was like far enough into it. Yeah, the coolest is always finding um, somebody that had like all the pendants and all the crystals and you know the tunic, the mirror shield, the master sword fully upgraded, just everything. Oh really, Phil? I'm surprised. A young man like you searching for the sword of evil's bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Let's just say only the hero who has won three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? <laughs> Duh. Good. As a test, you can retrieve the pendant of courage from the East Temple. If you bring it here, I'll tell you some more of the legend and uh, give you a magical artifact. Go now, forward to the temple. I wish I could have it now, because I would love to be able to run. Like my Pegasus boots. I think that is one of the smartest things they ever introduced in the Zelda series, like by far. It's gotta be my favorite item. Man, I haven't come across any fairies, I haven't come across nothing. Alright, is this it? Oh yeah, and speaking of that, I um, you know, about renting and everything like that. I was in the fifth grade, and this uh, kid I knew, he had the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, obviously, because that's what we're playing. And he didn't know how to get past a certain part. And I may or may not have fibbed, and I said, "Well, I do. I can beat the game if you lend it to me. I can beat it for you." Well, let's just say he lent it to me, <laughs> and I did not beat it. <laughs> Oh man, but you know what? I lent him my super ghouls and ghosts, and that son of a bitch never gave it back. Like, I'm pretty upset about that. Talking to you, Matthew, I'd say his last name, but I don't want anybody searching his name. But yes, Matthew, if you're out there and you're watching this, you have my super ghouls and ghosts. Um, 
not upset about it, but you know what? If uh, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna count to ten, and if it's back, it's back, and if it's not, then you know. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. I'll shut up. <laughs> I am a dork. Or would you say I'm a dorkable? Oh, hook shot, hook shot. Where for art thou, hook shot? You remember where everything is, man. Like I said, it's been such a long time that I don't remember Jack. I know you can sprinkle fairy dust on those things when you get fairies. But I ain't got no sprinkles, bruh. Okay, so we got that. We're good here. Let's go over yonder. God, I wish I had the Pegasus boots. Hopefully we don't take too long beating this. Oh, that was kind of cool. I accidentally hit that dude. Oh, you son of a gun. Alright, we're not doing too bad. Look at us. Look at us. Feel the desires. I can talk to you telepathically through these touch tiles. Here's a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in the temple to defeat the armored foes. Well, that's just peachy. Okay, I don't want to do that. Or, I can do this. I don't think I can get in there yet because I need the key, right? It's gonna be like, eh, I can't get it yet. Eh, can't get in. It's locked. I need the big key. Oh, the adventures we'll have. See, Parallel Worlds was like this, but worse. Way worse. <laughs> I'll take you. And all this uh, arrows I'm getting. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, big key. There we go. Speaking of big key, and I don't even know why this is even. Well, it's not reminding. Oh, this is just. Yeah, this is another talking point. But uh, before I started playing this, I was watching Ernest Scared Stupid because, you know, tis the season. This season is coming up. And I feel like Ernest Scared Stupid should be up there with like Hocus Pocus and Halloween uh, Town and you know any other Halloween uh, show that you associate Halloween with. You know what I mean? I just feel like it was one of those ones that didn't get that popular. But I think it's because it didn't. It wasn't like under the Disney banner or anything like that. And that's a shame because that's a freaking amazing movie. Ernest was just awesome, dude. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I think he was even like a pretty decent dude in like real life too. 
I know I read like something. I, I, there's even like a freaking like documentary, but I know he was like a really big chain smoker. But you know he was all about the kids and stuff like that. And um, you know he didn't want uh, kids to see him smoking. So whenever he was around kids or in his earnest character, he wouldn't smoke. So I mean, fact check me. It is what it is. I remember reading that somewhere. One of those fun fact kind of things. But either way, he's still a cool dude. Like I knew him personally, right? <laughs> and he was doing like Eddie Murphy stuff before Eddie Murphy was doing Eddie Murphy stuff with the different characters, costumes, and everything like switching in and out. That was amazing. I will give Eddie Murphy this though. He was the first one to do it like when they were on the same screen. Ernest, you know, it was like, you know, camera cuts and everything like that, flashy. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're almost there. We didn't do too bad. I think it's this one? No, it's not that one. Uh, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Alright, fourth time's the charm. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I went through all of those. Alright, there you are. Let's refill that. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yeah, we'll get these. Cause we want to buy the flippers, bruh. Thank you. There we go. We don't really need anything. Oh, maybe there's a bomb in here or something like that. Can I say bomb on here if it's part of the game? Cause I know like a lot of words get you flagged, but I'm not sure. But I picked up some bombs, so you know, bear with me. Even these dudes on that parallel worlds were kind of tough. Like, it was just crazy, dude. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, come on. Shoot you in the face, bruh. Oh my god. I'm not doing well. There we go. Oh, thank you for the pendant. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to the Elder Sharashala. Two more pendants remain. Alright, don't bother me. I gotta get my Pegasus boots. Cause as Woody said, there's a snake in my boot. Alright dude, I did it. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage. Now I'll tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the Hylian royalty. These knights of Hyrule were the guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against the evil that took place when the Seven Sages created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Phil, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by families of the sages. I want you to have it. Yeah, you've got the Pegasus boots. Now you can execute devastating dash attack by holding down the A button. A helpful item is hidden in the cave in the east side of the lake, Hylia. Get it? Okay. I think east is to the right? Oh yeah, got some of those. Some of these. Some of those. Am I talking too much? I feel like I'm talking too much. If I'm talking too much, just say, uh, if you've seen uh, Stephen King's it, say beep beep Richie. Type beep beep Richie in the comments. And I'll stop talking so much. But until then, I will ramble. Because that's just what I do. <laughs> Alright, cave to the right of Lake Hylia. Can't get there. Is this Lake Hylia? Oh, it's over there. I can't. Oh, I can't get to it. I can't get to. It. I can't get to it. Okay, we'll get to it eventually. Shoot you in the face, bro. Oh, don't mind if I do.
Did I see a timer? There is a timer. Holy moly. Bro, I just want to keep it. Yes, keep it in the bottle. Alright, there we go. I didn't keep that first one in the bottle, apparently. Or the second one. So that's an interesting thing. Uh, it has a timer. Not a timer. It tells you how long you've played. Oh, come on, bro. There we go. Vegas is boost for life, bruh. Is this high? No, this isn't it. I don't need to talk to you. Where am I going? Let's see. If I go down, no, I won't be able to do nothing that way. Sure wish I had flippers. I'm gonna go get that treasure he was talking about and then I'll cut it off. We'll see though. Sucker. Oh dang. Never mind. I'm gonna not even be able to get to it. I forget what's in there. Wait a minute. What do you got? Oh, you're just that dude. We don't need to talk to you. Double, double, toil and treble these nuts, bruh. I got these things, so we can use that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, I could have used it because <laughs> I don't exactly have all my hearts right now, but not. Mm, I got fairies, so I don't need it. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now we're good. Oh my god! Bro, I can change it with the freaking buttons? That is amazing! Okay, that is dope. The L and R shoulder buttons, I can change my my things. Alright, I don't think these guys are gonna... Oh, son of a gun. Okay. Well, I don't think the door's gonna open just like that, but we'll tr uh, it doesn't matter anyways. Well, that was a waste. But that's not the one I was trying to go for, was it? Nope, it wasn't. Okay, so we're going to go all the way to the right. Oh, son of a gun. Should have taken those arrows, but that's okay. What do we got here? Yeah, we should have probably... Ooh, okay, what are we gonna do here? Let's do that. Thank you! Holy moly, dude. Of course. Ugh. I always pick the wrong door. Always, always, always. So let's see how quick we can get uh, one of these things. You guys are bound to give me a freaking thing eventually, right? Pretty sure. Oh, of course. Can I do this? Nope, cannot do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going all the way to hell back just to get the bombs. I feel like this game should give me bombs. Alright, look, I know I said I was not gonna sweat it, but I'm sweating it. Ugh, you know, I might as well just. Man, leave me alone, you stupid bee. Might as well just get the book of Medora. We're here, anyways, right? The Tome of Medora? What? Okay. 
I guess that's one of the things that they changed. What was wrong with calling it a book? Was it always the tome or was it called the book? I want to say it was called the book. Alright, let's see. I think you got some of these things that we need. Yeah, you do. Alright, we'll just zip on over and we'll go get that special item that we're not going to use. <laughs> I don't even remember what's in it. I think it was. It, it, I think it's the ice rod. Could be mistaken, though. Watch, one of these freaking dudes is gonna give me bombs. I know they are. Alright. Oh, what am I doing? I could do this. I forget. Oh my gosh. That's such a freaking cool little, I guess, quality of life improvement. So, whoever made this mod, Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past Redo, you're amazing. You found the ice rod. It seems sharp, chill, cleaving through the air. But watch your magic meter. All right, well, I think that right there is where we're going to cut it off. I think we made some pretty good progress. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Uh, if you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next. Peace.